But can they get those opening frags? G2 are ready and waiting that. But he's gonna miss. What? Nice jump shot coming in from Body. What else can he get? Using those barrels to great effect. And that might be enough work because now G2 have a man advantage. They're quite low though. And Cold Zero is cleaning them up. But Scream comes in. And it's all well. Boy can't even get a moment. Slope, waiting patiently for his teammates to arrive. And arrive they will, and the frags will start to come in. Fallen, push to the defense here on this crate. And he's gonna get dinked here from the side, body with the frag. And now it's gonna be on Cold Zero and Fur. And Fur needs to get something done here from the flank. But it's a plan for sure. Fur is coming though, and it's just body left. But for how long? There it is. Cold finally comes in with the orb. Very capable as well. Look how slow they're willing to play the clock. 20 seconds, and they need to go, they need to go, to go for the wall. For the raw peak here. Body's position is going to be crucial as well. Oh, Smith with two. What is that? Smith, where is he? Where is he? He's coming from the back. And that's going to be ruined at the round for Luminosity. To himself two tasty morsels. And he is going to consume them. And it's going to be down to Shox here. But he's, he's got a lot of players to shoot. There's one. What else can Shox do in this position? That's Eagle. He's got, oh, he gets another one. Shox biding his time by Goose. Smith has to keep the pressure up. The distraction needs to be real here. And Shox goes for the spray! Two players down, and the bomb is going to fall with them as Cole has to go for the refrag. He's going to get it, but he's alone against two. Get it to pop up as well. And Body doing more work with the Deagles and more pistols come out. And there, there isn't time really for Luminosity to rotate over towards the A side. There are 20 seconds here. They're pretty much committed to the B bomb side. This could go horribly wrong, and it is. Only two plays left now for the, for the T side. Fallen the FNX trying to put in work, but they've got 14 seconds to plant the bomb here. Two players left now. Pre-fire coming in from Fallen, but it's not enough. FNX is one Deag away. He needs to take down Scream. He's got five seconds to do it. The smoke fails. He's coming in for the spray. Two seconds. He's going to get a kill here. The block is not enough. Scream wins an unlikely round here. It's been such a problem. We've got a catch up coming in from Shox. He's going to get punished by Fallen. So now Scream has a lot to do. But we've seen him hold types on his own before. So far, so good. One kill coming in. Two more people to fight. Playing it slow. Almost a team man spray down here. Taco versus two now. RPK and Smith coming in. From the ramp position, is it going to force Ishizaku picking up the AWP? I make it hard not to get traded straight in the face. RPK will take him down another round in the back here for G2. And bad times are ahead. They are running the gauntlet here. Two for two so far for Body. This is the third shot. Got support as well, but he is definitely on fire. Can't put himself out in time. Scream trying to hold things down, but he's going to be the one to get edge shot. Now it's a man advantage here for Luminosity. And these nades will come in handy. Double smoke's coming out, and the bomb plant should come in soon. Two coming in for the rotation here again. Both players coming in from the ramp. Smith's going for the pop flash. RPK will have to put in massive work here. Now RPK is ready though. He's gonna get flashed in. It's on this entry. Can he find anyone? No! It's down to FNX. He's gonna easily deliver the frag. And Smith trying to force his way in with the crowbar. That is the orb. But it's not gonna happen. And it's going to instead be a round for Luminosity for an 8-7 half. 8 to G2, 7 to Luminosity. This was such a back and forth half. I absolutely love it. Has, has now been secured of the bomb plant. Ed, an additional $800 for every player on the T side. But jumping there is not going to be too, too easy there for Smith. He will get taken out. But here is Green with the M4. Also going down pretty easily. But Shocks still alive. Still with a deagle and still causing problems, but eventually silenced by Taco, and the round can be won by Luminosity. Max Seven coming in, Scream gets told to sit down, so does RPK. Fur will be the only response right now for G2. Here goes Shox, he's got Taco. That I, I'm not sure if he for sure saw across there, but he might suspect it. His game sense is off the charts, and here they come. Oh, they don't realize Shox is there. First shot connects the no scope as well. And Shox is going to decimate the remainder of Luminosity just by any means. And one thing that's scary here with this hunting situation is just this. Is that two of the three players on G2 who wanted to hunt, two of them had orbs. So actually they, they can stand to lose quite a lot of money if, if that happens. If just that happens. But that's a fantastic work from Body. Manages to find his way. Look at the lack of utility here for the CT side. They have a few flashbangs, but that's about it. They need to come in with the hard, raw kills here. That's a good start. Fallen's going to deliver just as Smith did in the, in the first half. There are more G2 players coming, slowly but surely, but Shox takes down Fallen. Fur was in position, he'll trade at least. Two versus four now, lots for G2 to do. Yeah, they can get onto the site though and get the bomb planted, and that's one of the most important things here. G2 securing an extra bank, but can they clutch? 
but he has been on point so far. Can he be the star of the show here on Dust 2 for G2? As he spots the first player, and Taco loses his head presently now as Smith is expecting. He knows there is someone coming from long, but will the timing work out for Smith? Looks like a body's gonna get more frags there. Another one, now it's just down to Smith. One versus two, he's got the orb, it's not the best gun for the job. It's cold with the double to save Luminosity. Towards the, oh, he's put over towards the car position to stop falling, actually. He's gonna get flashed as well. What a great play here, Scream coming in now. Burke can hold on to long, no he can't. The headshot's coming in, five versus two. That smoke is 10 out of 10 there, Bike Shocks. Ruining the position that Smith's has hold, held for so long on their CT side. In the effort to completely crush Luminosity, and it looks like that's what's happening. Shot missed by Taco, and easily handled by RPK. RPK While Scream it. tries to find out some information. Oh man, that is just ridiculous. So far, so good here for G2. Again, this is game points here for the Frenchman. Go over towards Tor, not much he can do though. Shock still coming in, not on the flank if necessary. But Scream wants to clean up on his own. Trades for both sides, man advantage for the CT. That's gonna soon go though, falling alone now with 20 HP. Not much he can do. G2 will take the first map. Unbeknownst to the T's. And there you go, he's buying some time, but it's not gonna work out. Shocks has that second sense for it. And now FNX is against two players, and it's gonna be tougher. Good damage done there, and it's just not. Impossible for FNX, he's gonna take the first man down. Just one more, but will the time allow him to do this as he looks for Shox? Shox is playing this perfectly, forcing a really wide peak from FNX. FNX has no idea where Shox is. He doesn't feel comfortable to go for the defuse attempt, and instead, he'll just try to save the orb, but he can't even do that. Shox is gonna deny him. Significant map control at the moment, G2. Connector, moving into Connector will help. Taco getting a far too frags there. That's going to speed up the play here. Cold Zero spots the rest of the team, and that's going to be a rotation here for the CT. 35 seconds left, and the frags continue to roll in for Luminosity. Are oh, they finally going to get a round on the board? Smiths, it might be about damage for him now. Just missing a shot there. Getting flashbanged as well. 25 seconds. Needs to collect the bomb. There's still work for him to do. The rotation being cut off by Fallen. Fallen can't afford to go down there. Gonna get legs in back down to 5 HP, Smith with some shenanigans, but it won't pay off. Here they go, Body is gonna be the first man, and look at all these grenades here. Luminosity will throw all the last grenades, but it might just be enough, because there's so much delay here for G2's push. Body's gonna drop Cold Zero down the stairs as he looks for more, but it's just on shocks now to get the damage in against four players, and he will not get another opportunity. Down, Taco and Cold Zero may have to gamble and push the smoke, and indeed that bomb's gonna be denied. 20 seconds on the clock now, G2's hand will be forced. Shocks looking for an opening, gonna be creeping silently with the scoped in sniper rifle. Taco's gonna be very careful, but his teammate could possibly trade for him now. Again, yeah, Shocks not revealing his position. When you move with the orbs now, when you're scoped in, it doesn't reveal the sound. Five seconds left, he needs to find two frags, we've got the CT running away. Shocks tries to get that last frag, but he won't get the angle in time. Another round on the board for Luminous from Push here, which may turn into a bit of a flank. First frag coming the way of the connect, first coming in as well. Double pick for the CTs now, body to trade, but it's a man advantage here for Luminosity. They've got very nice angles as well. So a bomb plant's gonna be hard, there's 20 seconds left, and there are CTs on both sides of the site. Cold Zero's position is gonna be very important, and now he's the last man standing. All of a sudden, can't get a lethal frag here. 10 seconds though. He can he stop the bomb from going down? No. With a norm, he's gonna be unlikely to trade. Smith's coming in from the side. Luminosity had such advantage, but it very quickly disappeared. There's still potential. Oh, that's a very unfortunate miss for Smith. Manages to escape, but oh, that is disgusting. FNX waiting for the perfect moment, and he's gonna play this patiently. There it is, there's the first round from FNX. He'll get the second as well. And now Fallen can go in, but it's down to Scream. He gets the first kill, but here comes FNX! All four kills for FNX and the defuse. That's exactly what Luminosity needed. Crossfire with cold as well, not gonna work out. Instant headshot coming in, they're all falling down that 11 to four looks likely, FNS alone. The last round, indeed. So he's gotta go for it, and there is at least one frag. FNX gonna try to work on things as he can, but what is this, there's another frag coming in. Suddenly he's trying to make this actually doable. The taps against Scream, against the tap master. Not gonna work out, 11 to four in favor of G2. The face, and he will close the distance if he has to. Look at that, one bullet! Fired, one man down. He may get taken down from the back though. What is, shot? are you serious? He can't do this, no! Taco, the last man standing, shot looking to ace the entire team. 
he will be denied. Taco has a great task ahead of him. They've got four rounds that now, I think, for Taco. He's going to go in now and see what he can do, but finding long range is definitely not going to be very effective for him. Looking for the fragging against RPK. Can't get it done. Look at all the Brazilian players over towards the side of the team. comes in. Body with the second frag. Smith stealing the first one away, actually. Body coming over the shoulder peak, baiting them with the flashbang, and he's going to get the kill there. Four versus one now. He knows where the last player is. More shoulder peaking shenanigans coming in. RPK will hold the angle. Fantastic play. G2. Match. The Brazilians moving over towards the A site. G2 looking for the information now. FNX gets taken down with no responses yet. Smith's close but doesn't quite get the kill there. And there it is. Falling gets taken down. There's one rifle on these three remaining players. It's going to be so hard. This setup is so strong. The defense seems immovable at the moment. Luminosity must break it with just two tech knives. And they're forced to go in. And they are being slaughtered. It is just Taco now. 19 health with that tech knife. And there's too much to do. And two little to do with 16-5. G2 are your ECS Season 1 champions.